Well hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video which is going to be a new makeup and lifestyle releases. Will this one break my no buy or am I still safe? And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage. I love spooky stuff, makeup and being creative. The slightly orcish means I'm green. I'm a light to light medium warmish olive and the relatively vintage means I'm 47. I also have ADHD and I'm autistic. So if I seem a little bit hyper today, it's because I'm excited. <laughs> New makeup releases, lifestyle and all that. I have some very, very cool things to talk about. I have some amazing sneak peeks. And yeah, my no buy is a little bit difficult today. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Let me open up my Instagram. Let me also move to the side a little. Let me make room first because it's chaos here. Let's hope I stay in focus today because last week it was a struggle for my camera to remember my face. Anyway, let's go to my folder and go to giftable things first. So first I am going to start with this from Moth and Myth. I have mentioned this brand before and they do 3D printed animals and skeletons and they look real they're not though they're 3d printed but what i have come out with is the garden of earthly delight it says here boldly patterned butterfly wings unfurl in gardens around the world with fierce stripes and bright colors the garden of earthy delight celebrates these little helpers spreading both pollen and wonder on their dancing paths each butterfly in this collection is based on a real specimen from specimen yes i said that correctly from the tropical blanchard's ghost to the beloved peacock butterfly found in the gardens of western europe this classic set has transformed like a butterfly emerging from its cocoon with six brand new specimens uh, you can catch the collection and the new three piece sets at moth and myth and i will link their uh, website down below and i will also link their instagram handle down below uh, and at moth and myth on moth and myth on etsy for their international customers i have actually ordered spider webs and the spider from them and i also ordered for my bestie a snake skeleton 3d printout and it's just so cool it's amazing quality so if you like this type of curiosity or curiosa i believe it's called definitely go check out moth and myth the next um, artist i'm going to mention is dragons and beasties this is so cute This is so cute. And it says here, heads up. This week is our anniversary sale. To celebrate 13 years of Dragons and Beasties, they're having a site-wide sale starting today, right? Yes, at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Mountain Time. There will also be new arrivals. So you see here Saber the Tiger Dragon. Uh, it will be in vinyl figure and pin form. And it says also here, their extra swift statues will also be released along with a special swift jumbo enamel pin. Make sure to mark the date. And I will link the Instagram handle down below. I will also link the shop down below. This is actually a new account. So I, I haven't even checked what they have. Oh, they have very cutesy things. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, definitely go check out the Instagram account as well, because this just makes me very, very happy to look at. And I will link uh, it down below. And as I said, the shop as well. And let me know if you know any of the artists and brands that I'm going to mention today. Next, I'm going to go for my crochet people to um, Lali Lal. Lali la, Lali la land. I always have trouble with that word for a new crochet pattern. And this is an owl with a mouse and it's just so so cute uh, i have she has sets that you can just pre-order the entire set so you have everything you need to create this uh, pattern uh, and you can also buy the patterns separately i've actually i've known about this artist for years i have made i have made a different or i have done different patterns patterns from her and the last thing that i actually made was a death moth if she comes out with a With, with a spider in, in her basically Lali La dolls, uh, I'm, I'm going to be hooked. Pun actually not intended, but 
Let me know if you've ever made anything from this artist. And uh, if you are excited that she came out with a new pattern. And I will link down below where you can find it. Next I'm going to go to uh, JD. It's either J, J. Drew Silvers. I think it is. And this is sp spider web. Um, it's, it's kind of a. I want to say bookshelf. It's not. You, you see rocks here. In. And this this you can basically put anywhere. There are a few different ones. And when I checked it, this one was still available. But they have so many cool things there. They have worldwide shipping. It's just so cool what they have. So I really wanted to talk about this. Because I was like, that. that is that's something that I would love to have in my house. A different way to display all the rocks that I gather on my travels throughout the neighborhood. <laughs> And such uh, But I will leave down below where you can find this as well uh, Now we're going to go to makeup And I am going to start with uh, A very very tiny brand From the UK It's a one woman show And she makes everything by hand And she does upcycled makeup packaging And then makes it into her own And this is from Pout and Shout uh, This is the super yummy cho uh, choco Choco treat Choco treat I would say Choco Treat. but um, this. So basically she says she made a 15 shade palette that looks like a bar of chocolate. Because chocolate is good, right? Uh, their uh, mini pans contain uh, hand formulated with vegan cosmetic grade ingredients. Eyeshadows in a variety of finishes. So there are matte, shimmer, foiled, sparkle, sparkled satin and even a few shifty shades. The palette features an upcycled outer packaging and is hand painted and sculpted. Everything is professionally sanitized every step of the way. Pay according to your means with a suggested price of around 15 British pounds. And you can message her on Instagram. If you want to buy anything. I don't know if it's still available by the time you are seeing this. But keep your eye on her. Because what she's doing is just so unique. And so new. And I really really like that. Especially that she makes everything herself. Upcycles. Makeup packaging. Definitely go check her out. I will leave her Instagram handle down below. Um, what next? Uh, Essence, I believe I have. So from Essence, I have two things that I'm going to talk about. I have the Ready for a Ride eyeshadow palette, which is available in Europe. Um, but we don't know if and when it will come to the USA. I like the outer packaging of this. I think this is fun. It reminds me of, you know, the carnival tickets and all that. I think the color story is fun as well. It's something that I can easily pass over. I mentioned in the beginning that I'm on an Obi. And this does not really make me want to break it. But Essence is readily available for me here. Uh, it's a very low price point. Their quality is decent uh, of their eyeshadows. Uh, or at least according to me. I know opinions about that differ a little bit. But I think that their eyeshadow formula is decent. This is a color story that uh, appeals to me. But um, yeah, it's not something that I'm like, I need to have it immediately, if that makes any sense. So this will also be, I think, limited edition. So for me, this is an easy pass. But if you're in Europe, let me also know if you have seen this. Maybe you have already tried it. Let me know then how it is. But I can easily skip. The next thing I'm going to mention from Essence is actually, and the weird thing is, these are the types of things that are... For me so normal to get. For, especially from Essence. That this these are things that are. That I when I see them in store. I need to very much say to myself. No you're on an Obi. And uh, they have launched a new blush. That was a long winded intro. But they have launched a new baked blush. In their pure nude family. Uh, this is kind of a healthy glowing blush. And it's available in 8 shades. Um, and this is the thing that makes me potentially break my no buy. I, I'm, I have a specific blush that I tried from Essence basically the first time way, way, way back when I started my channel. And it was from the Adventure Awaits collection. And I have said repeatedly, I wish that they would make that permanent. If they have that specific shade in this line, I'm going to struggle. But if it's in their personal, in their permanent line, I can also wait until my no-buy is over, right? Or I can at least 
uh, say maybe I want to buy two or three things a month that I will allow myself. So yeah, this 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 is something that p- has the potential to um, break my no buy because I'm just so used to trying stuff from Essence and I love their baked blush formula. So yeah, which sounds kind of weird because I love eyeshadow palettes, but still. You know, it is what it is. I don't need more blushes though. I do not need more blushes, but I'm still on the hunt for that one blush that I had from them. That was a shimmer blush and it was kind of a, I want to say kind of a berry tone, um, but it had the same color shimmer as the base shade as well. And it was just such a stunning blush. So yeah, next I'm going to go to Artitude Cosmetics and I'm going to mention a bunch of things. I have one thing of the new collection here actually, but we're going to start with some other things. So Artitude Cosmetics is a makeup brand from the UK. I do have an affiliate code with them and all my codes are always listed down in the description box. Um, if you see a code with an asterisk behind it, it means that it's affiliated. If you see a link that has an asterisk, it means affiliated. If you see a makeup product that has two asterisks, it means that it was sent to me in PR. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. So the first thing that she's going to release um, the, on the 30th of March is sponges. They are super soft. They double when wet. That's what she said. A perfect application uh, every time. So I did. she didn't send these in PR, but they look very, very cool. I love it. I love the green. What can I say? Um, so that's what she's going to release. The next thing she's going to release is a brush set. And this, the colors of this look so, so pretty. I don't need new blush brushes, honestly. Keep that in mind though. But um, this looks very nice. Very nice. And this will also release the uh, 30th. It's an 18 piece Lux brush set. And it's a combination of face and eye brushes. Seven multitasking face brushes and 11 eye brushes. And the bristles are super soft. They're 100% vegan and cruelty free. They're made with premium, quali- premium quality synthetic fibers. So that is very, very good to know. It comes in a luxurious faux suede khaki green brush holder to keep them safe and secure. And it will also release the 30th at 4 p.m. British summer time. She's also going to launch falsies uh, for limited edition styles. Uh, and the whole collection is just in that green style. And I think they look very, very cool. So the last thing that I'm going to mention that's going to le- release, or at least as far as I know in the collection, is the eyeshadow palette. And I have the eyeshadow palette here. I'm not going to show the inside because as I'm filming this on Tuesday, she hasn't released pictures of the inside of the palette yet. But I'm going to show you the outside because she already has pictures of her the outside on her Instagram. If she has released... Uh, by the time I'm done editing or before I'm done editing the a picture of the inside of the palette, I will put a picture in. But I am going to show you the outside of the palette. So here is what the outside of the palette looks like. It's called Man Eater Untamed and it's 20 eyeshadows. And you see the cutout in the sleeve. So let me remove the sleeve. And then here is the outer box. And it just looks so, so cool. It looks so cool and so sleek. And I'm going to open it up for myself now. Just because I want to look at it. And I think that the color story is just so fun. I think it's very, very well done. So I cannot wait to start filming with this. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys think when you see the eyeshadow palette as well. Okay, next I'm going to go to... um, Let's go next to Enchanted Luster Cosmetics for their Dragon Prism 3 palette. The release date is March the 30th. And you see a picture of the palette here. It's all multi-chromes and duochromes. You get basically a blue-purple row, then a greenish row, and then a pink, pinkish pinkish row so this looks very very pretty i do have a few all shimmer palettes i don't grab for them often though and because this is an all multi-chrome palette it's just not something that i reach for and the colors that i want to have i have at least right now so looking at this it looks stunning but the colors that I would want to use from this particular palette, I have as well strewn about different palettes. So again, I don't need this one. And actually the one that's in the middle on the bottom of the 
a middle row, bottom of the picture. It reminds me a little bit of one of the multi-chromes that's in the Rogue palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. I'm, I'm not sure though, it's just what it looks like on the picture. But yeah, it looks very, very pretty. One day I will want, I will try Enchanted Luster Cosmetics, but today is not the day. But however, let me know if you are excited for this. Let me know down below and I will link their site uh, in the description box as well. Let's next go to, um, to Sydney Grace because she is releasing a bunch of things. So here you see a picture of their new 16 um, pen palette featuring mattes and shimmers. Shimmers, it retails for 60 bucks and it is available next Monday. What is it called? Can I? Oh, Unbreakable Bond. Never mind. That's what the palette is called. I think that the color story uh, fits their brand. It's they are. Looking at the picture, they I don't want to say they are muted, but maybe the colors are a little bit less saturated color wise. It has nothing to do with the pigmentation. I feel that this that I don't know if that is their aesthetic. I have the same. I have the one that they did with Mel Thompson, the tiny marvels here. And it's the same type of almost more muted colors in that color story as well. Um This does look pretty. It's not something that grabs my attention per se. I really do like the um, orangey peachy tones that are in here. I think that those are very, very pretty. But I love those colors and I have a lot of those colors. So for me, again, this is going to be an easy pass. But yeah, maybe this is, the swatches do look pretty. I honestly like the swatches... Uh, I like the swatches more than just the color story of the palette. And that happens sometimes with me. It's all okay. The swatches look very, very pretty though. Uh, I really do like the fact that it is more grayer tones in combination with the peachy tones. I think that is very, very pretty. Even though the shade uh, Indiana Love on the picture of the palette looks blue, when I see it in the swatch, it looks a little bit more gray. <clears throat> so I think that is very cool. And that is a color combination that, uh, that I find very pleasing to the eye. But for me, this particular palette uh, is not um, making me want to break my Nova. On the other hand, the blush from Essence is so... You know, then the next thing that they are going to release is a their very first face palette. Uh, it's called Luminous Light and it will be available in three versions to complement skin tones. Uh, each palette has one highlighter, two blushes and a bronzer. All the face necessities in one palette will be available as well March 27th at 9 a.m. Uh, PST and it will cost 28 uh, bucks. Um, the Spring Unicorn and the Enchanted Unicorn will um, be bundled and available on March 27 as well. That's what it says here. But let me see the uh, different types of colors. So I have the deep one here. Yes. Oh, that's oh, that's also stunning as an eyeshadow palette. Then the medium one. So a shimmer blush, a matte blush, and then a bronzer shade. They look. Looking at the bronzer shades from the light and the medium, they are pretty warm toned and it almost looks like the medium one has a hint of green in it. But as eyeshadows, these look very, very pretty as well. Uh, they also look from the swatch. I don't know how much the swatches are built up, but the, they look pretty pigmented. And I personally go for face products that are a little bit less pigmented that I can build up. But they do look very, very pretty. That, that deep one looks so pretty. They look stunning. So let me know if you're excited. Let me know if you're setting your alarm. Let me know if you're getting any. Next, I'm going to go to uh, Colourpop because they are sneaking their upcoming collection, which is going to be the Legend of Korra collection. So there will be um, graphic ink liners. I see that. There will be an eyeshadow palette. Oh, let me see if I can see that. So an eyeshadow palette... Uh, Highlighter from Soul Body and what was the other thing? Cream liquid eyeshadows, lippies. So it's a complete collection again. Um, I 
I think I'm still on Colourpop's PR list. I actually have no idea. I haven't received anything from them in, I think, two months, which is completely fine. Um, I would love to get this in PR, though. I have to say that. Uh, will this break my no-buy? I don't think so. Uh, and the reason for that is I, I haven't really watched The Legend of Korra yet. I do really like the way that this looks. Oh, with a red panda. Oh, that is so cute. So there's probably some things that I would love to try from this collection. Uh, I don't know what the palette looks like inside as I'm filming this. I have no idea, but I'm guessing also, I'm guessing it will release this Thursday. It could also be that they're releasing it next week. It could be that they're sending it to me in PR. I have no idea. If they're sending it to me in PR, I would be over the moon, honestly, because I would love to try it. Uh, and I would love to have it in my collection because I love the aesthetic so much. And I love the first Avatar uh, series a lot. The movie was me. Um, but let me know if you're excited. I like that they're doing it again, though. And I also think that it is cool that they're doing the graphic ink liners now. I did not really I haven't tried their eyeliners their liquid eyeliner so I have no idea I do like their eye pencils I do like those and the chrome liquid eyeshadows I think it's cool that they're branching out into that as well so let me know if you are excited next I'm going to go to something that I'm very very excited about and that is the new nomad release and the picture that you see here is from three eyeshadow colors and you see part of basically the front of the palette I have the palette here I have it here and um, I cannot wait to hear your guys' reaction on this palette because um, I think, I think you're going to squeal. I did. When I got the palette in PR and I opened her up, I was like, oh, people are going to go bonkers. I went bonkers, honestly. So this will release next week. The, the details will be listed in the description box. The color story reveal, the destination reveal will be Friday. The color story reveal will be Saturday. And that's also when my first video goes online. Because I'm doing a two-part again, as I do often with their palettes. I'm doing first an eye swatch video. And the eye swatch video will also include the review. That one will go up on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I will release my... Uh, multiple looks video and you will want to watch my multiple looks video because honestly it's the only one you need to watch the reason for that is because i'm fabulous that first of all i cannot even say it with a straight face um but i work with colorful eyeshadows very very differently than most people do i blend the least amount possible but I still want a blended look. And in the multiple looks video, I'm going to show you how I do that. So you will definitely want to see those videos of mine. Uh, but I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And also, fun fact is that the combination that we have going on here. Did I do that? Let me, let me, let me kind of check. Let me kind of check. Did I do that combination? I didn't. But I need to. I definitely need to do that combination as well. Because I love the combination that they have shown on the picture so much. Just saying. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, let me know in the description box uh, or in the comment section if you have any guesses. I'm not going to spoil it, but I kind of want to see your guys' guesses if you... Um, if you kind of guess where it's from, they have they they are having their guessing game going on right now. So go check out their Instagram and enter in the guessing game because, uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you can win the palette. Yes. So the final clue will be on Thursday and. Uh, Anyway, I also have a, uh, an affiliated code with Nomad Cosmetics. It's Nikki Raven 10 if you want to um, save some money. And this, honestly, this palette, if I did not, if I hadn't received this palette in PR, this is the palette that would have broken my no buy. That's how much I love it and needs to be in my collection. So maybe that says enough. I don't know. Let's next go to Wicked Widow Beauty. They have released or are going to release. 
It's coming soon. That's what it says here. A new eyeshadow palette. Uh, it is... I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it has eight shades, four mattes, two shimmers. Uh, let's see if I can see what it's called. Oh, it's, uh, a, oh, it's a collab. Wicked Widow and Not Your Average Babe. That's so cool. And the amazing artwork is done by Shorty... Shorty... At TR Tattoos. I don't know, but I will link the Instagram handle down below. Let me also save this post then. So I can refer back to it easily. Uh, I think the outside of the palette is just so cute. It's very much Alice in Wonderland. And I love that so, so much. But it also fits in with the time of year. Being, you know, spring. Ostara has happened uh, Easter is coming, you know, that kind of thing. And I think that's very, very fun. I also really like the color story and I love the pen embossings. I love the pen embossings. I think the color story is fun and springy and I like this a lot. I really, really like this a lot. I would love to own this. So this is a palette that I'm actually going to save on, um, on my wish list. And then basically later in the year, I'm going to go over that again to see if it's still something that I would want to get. But this looks so, so cute. I really, really like the color story. I love the outside of the palette as well. I think this is just so cool. Yeah, that's the only thing that I can say. If I wasn't on a no-buy, would I buy it? Maybe, because I think it's very, very cute. Do I have these colors? Yes, I do have these colors, but not from them, you know, that kind of thing. But I just, I just really like the whole vibe of this palette, and the whole vibe of the palette makes me want to basically buy the palette even though I have the colors that are inside it's the complete package for me I'm not going to as I said I'm on a no buy um, I do have an exception to the rule which I will explain a little bit later but uh, this is a palette that is very much on my wish list yes next I'm going to go to Tarte for the Maracuja Juicy Liquid Lip Juicy. Ugh. Honestly, it it should only be used for fruit. Not for anything else. But that's my opinion. It's a full coverage liquid lip. Uh, and it says here liquid lip without the ick. <laughs> Ultra hydrating full coverage matte liquid lip. With a good for you ingredients for velvety smooth lips in one swipe. It has the ease of a gloss. But it has the coverage of a lipstick and the wear of a stain. I'm confused, though. It's quick, dry, and transfer proof. Because in, in a hydrating matte liquid lipstick, it feels very counterintuitive for me. Now, I am wearing actually one of the lip creams from Colourpop. Um, it's not very drying, but it's also not hydrating. So I don't know how they then would have done that. Uh, I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Uh, I'm actually kind of intrigued because I'm confused, but I'm also not in the market for liquid lipstick. So it's an easy pass for me. But let me know if you are interested in this. They're vegan and cruelty free uh, and they retail for 24 bucks each. Let me, let me know if you've tried these, if they are even available already. Next, I'm going to go to... Uh, notoriously Morbid for the Season of the Witch Spring Palette. This looks cute. The outside of the palette looks so, so cute. I do have to say that I kind of feel that the inside... Looking at the picture of the color story, I'm like, it does not really... It, it feels a little bit too punchy to pair with the outside of the palette. But when I then see the swatches, I'm like, yeah... If I'm not mistaken, my friend Katie from Makeup for Lost Time has a video up with it. I know she has a discount code. I think it's Katie 10. But I'm not sure. Uh, it could also be Katie 15. I'm not sure. But I will link, or maybe Lost 15. I don't know. I will link it down below. But I will also link her channel name down below. Go check out the video that she did. That girl makes also the most amazing looks so definitely worth checking out. So the outside of the palette I think looks very, very cute. I really, really like that. The color story I like. Separate colors, but not as a whole. For me, it just... My eyes are stuck on that pink. 
and then the blue. And it's just, that's where my mind goes. So for me, this is an easy pass, but I know that Katie has the palette, so definitely go check her out. They're also releasing a Grounded and Chaotic. Don't really know what that is. Um, and they will, they are limited edition and they will be around until April the 7th. They will also, uh, they've also released a mystery bag and each mystery bag will include five items with one matte shadow full size, three duochrome shadows in full size and one mini multi-chrome. And that is all available now and I will link it down below for you guys. Next, I'm going to go to Bella Beauty Bar for the Pastel Garden. This is a 36 pen eyeshadow palette. It has 24 pigmented, creamy and blendable matte for, mattes, um, 11 unique duochrome shimmers and one unique multi-chrome shimmer. It has uh, luxe faux leather packaging. And it retails for 69 bucks. It launches the 29th 8 a.m. CST. The first thing that I notice is that it's a big palette. And it's not something that I am in the market for. So that way it's an easy skip. I do really like the color story though. I think the color story is cute. I also personally believe that it could be curated down a little. However, if you are in the market for kind of colorful eyeshadows ranging from pastels to maybe I think a little bit of a mid-tone range with different sh shimmer finishes in here, this can be definitely something for you. I personally miss some depth. Now, I do understand that this is a pastel palette, but still, I like to have... a. It, even if it is a pastel palette, some darker shades so I can... To create a little bit more punch. Um, that's me personally. I don't mind pulling in other palettes. But I, especially with a palette that's as big as this one is. I want to just have one palette in front of me. It's a, If it's a smaller palette, I don't mind pulling in other palettes. But in this case, I just wish that some of the shades were deeper. That's personal preference though. L I've never tried Bella Beauty Bar. Uh, this palette does look pretty. Let me know if you're excited about this. Let me know if you are setting your alarm. Let me know down below. Next, I'm going to go to uh, Mika Beauty Shop. Uh, and they have done a collab with Martes Makeup. This is called the Serpent Palette. And this is so cool. I love the outer packaging so much. That's so cool. And that color story is extremely yummy. This is a palette that if I wasn't on my no buy, I would have bought. As it stands, the colors that are in here, I have. And because I'm on my no buy, I'm not going to buy it. That's the only reason. Because if I hadn't been, I would have wanted this palette in my collection. The outside of the palette looks stunning. The inside of the palette really reflects the outside. And I love the colors that they chose. I have them largely, yes. So I don't need them. I don't need anything. Um, but yeah, this is a palette that is, um, it's, that's also going on my wish list. It needs to go on my wish list, in my wish list folder, because this is a palette that is very much, very, very much that I'm like, yes, 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 yes. This is going on my wish list. Definitely. Let me know if you are excited. We have 15 eyeshadows. It's cruelty free and vegan. Uh, two multichromes, uh, of which one is iridescent and one is a black based. Then there's a sparkly metallic. There are four duochromes and eight mattes. The palette comes with a mirror and um, uh, it's available for 65 euro, which is around 70 bucks. You can use code Martes Makeup and then it will be 58, 50 euro or say, uh, 63 bucks. Uh, it's pre-order. The pre-order opens up on the 18th. So that was last week. Um, it will last three days. The palette is limited edition, but it will be restocked at least once in about a month and more times given uh, that there is still interest. Yes, uh, Marta's Makeup also has a YouTube channel. So I will link that one down below as well. So you can see swatches and her video with it. And it looks so, so pretty. So congratulations on this amazing palette because it looks stunning. Yes. Uh, next, I'm going to go to... Uh, another collab between Dolten Beauty and Jen Phelps Beauty. It's a five-piece brush 
collection. It's a luxe set of five face and eye brushes to keep you feeling glamorous all season long, plus a pretty blue and gold marbled case to keep them all together. The value is 132 bucks, but it retails for 49. The brushes are vegan, cruelty free and synthetic. And this is just so amazing. Jen, congratulations on this collab. It's just awesome. Jen has a YouTube channel. I will link her YouTube channel down below. And I will link down below where you can find the brushes. This is amazing. I don't need the... I have these shapes. I have a lot of these shapes. So I don't need them. Um, but I did want to mention them. And let me know if you have gotten any. Uh, or if you've gotten this set. So next I'm going to go to Elf. This is a limited edition Power Grip Slimer. And when I saw this, I was like, I don't want to put this on my face. And then I read the post. <laughs> it's not a primer. It's not a primer. Um, it's a toy. And uh, it has uh, cute little dolphins in it. It's basically, um, I, I call these fidget toys. You know, it's kind of that, that push and pull stuff and... I don't know how you call it in English, but that is all okay. Um, so Elf is making a $100,000 donation benefiting the whale and dolphin conservation and proceeds of the Sticky Shop merch collection up to $25,000 will also benefit that important cause. And I think that that is amazing. This is something that if, if I see this in store, I'll buy it. Why? It's not a makeup product. <laughs> So I won't be bra breaking my, my no buy rule and I would be supporting an amazing cause. And I, I, I have stuff like this, that, that putty, stretchy putty, I don't know. And I think that it's so fun that basically almost everyone is like, I don't want to put that on my face and then it's not a makeup product. I just think that's fun. I think they marketed it brilliantly and I hope that it is a, a very big success. Uh, next I'm going to go to uh, One Size Beauty because uh, they are releasing the Secure the Sweat sweet, sweat, mm, sweat Proof Aluminium Free Primer. It says here, don't sweat it with a beauty grade sweat proof waterproof proof and oil proof primer wow that looks that looks in makeup and helps maintain your matte finish by controlling oil and shine for 12 hours and there's a bunch of ingredients in there as well it uh, is available to uh, it is available already and it retails for 34 bucks so for me this is something that i don't need this I don't have an oily face. I get sweaty in summer, yes. Uh, but on days where it's hot as hell, I usually don't want to wear a lot of makeup anyway because it just doesn't feel pleasant. So this for me is an easy pass. But I know that there are people, not like me, <laughs> duh, um, who will want to try this. So if you have tried this, let me know. And if you know someone on YouTube, for instance, who has reviewed this already, let us know down, down in the comments so people can find them and, um, and see for their se themselves if, they, if this is something that they want. For me, it's not, no, I don't need this. I don't need this. But I do think that it has a place in, um, in the makeup space, actually. Yes. Okay, what do I have here? Uh... Creature Cosmetics, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis makeup palette. Uh, officially licensed Evil Dead 2. This evil an, uh, encyclopedia includes 20 shades, one glitter, a wide range of mattes and shimmers. It's vegan, cruelty free and talc free. Disclaimer, it does include deadites. I don't know what it is. This will also feature an inch and a half thickness to uh, fully feel like you are engulfed in the evil pages of the Book of the Dead. The front cover is bound in faux leather and has a decrepit dead texture. Uh, and it's a complete collection actually. And I think that's very, very cool. So the reason that I wanted to mention this is because I love the aesthetic. I love books. I love makeup palettes that look like books. What can I say? I'm just a sucker for that. Um, the inside of the palette, it looks... The color story is fun. I have no idea though if it is evil dead, if it gives evil dead feelings. I don't know if I watched the movie. I have no idea or is it a series? I don't I, I don't know. 
Uh, but I do think it looks cool. And I think that if you love Evil Dead and if you love books and makeup, this, uh, this would look great in your beauty room. That's my opinion though. Let me know down below what you think. Uh, does it give you Evil Dead to uh, vibes color story wise are you excited um, there will be a bunch more so keep your eye on their instagram account next i'm going to go to uh, urban decay because they have released uh, new liners matte and shimmer vegan liars liners with up to 24 hour wear designed with an ergonomic grip and that is cool that is cool they are online already but that grip that is that's so innovative that is so cool if you have trouble gripping a pencil um, this is just amazing and the colors are very cool indeed i want to try these one day not right now but one day i want to try one of these liners because i'm very very interested in these so let me know if you are interested in, as well um, i am going to end with something that is very very exciting because one of my friends here online has started her own brand yes indeed uh, she has posted her re reveal video today which will be linked down below in the description box and it is by Angelica Nickvist Angelica is starting her own brand and I'm so freakishly excited. The brand is called Singe and she is going to launch eyeshadow brushes. And if anyone can make eyeshadow brushes for detail work, for blend work, but still be soft and easy to work with, then it's her. She is in her late 30s. If you don't know her, she loves colorful eye makeup. And we both have... Brushes are getting better and better. And there are different companies who are releasing smaller brushes as well. But when she started and when I started... I started later than, than uh, Angelica on YouTube. There were not a lot of small eye brushes. And... Let me tell you, she knows what she wants. She knows what she likes. She knows the shapes that she likes and she likes smaller brushes. And I'm so, so excited. So uh, they will launch this Saturday. I don't know the time, but it will all be explained in her video. And I will also update my description box when I know it. So let me know if you are as excited as I am. And it is what I'm going to break my no buy for uh, i've known about this for quite a while and i have already said i want to try the brushes and i am going to buy the brushes i don't know if i will be uh, able to do it on launch um, it depends on how quickly they sell out but if i cannot get a set on launch i am going to order a set when she restocks because i want to try those brushes And that was already decided before I said that I was going to go on my no buy. So that is the exception that I am making. Is that cheating? Maybe. But also a promise is a promise, right? So yeah, that was it. That was everything that I wanted to talk about today um, i want to give a special shout out to my members and patrons that you will see scrolling on the, on the screen right now um, the links to becoming a member uh, and a patron or or a patron are in my description box as well if you want to become uh, either if you cannot just watching my videos uh, supports me heaps you have no idea you have no idea thank you so so much for watching today uh, let me know down below what you think of my finds for this week uh, is there anything that piques your interest is your wallet safe do you have to hide your credit card because you want to buy it all let me know down below and then that is going to be it thank you so so much for watching i'm going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you friday for another video uh, or in the weekend for my nomad videos bye guys mm -hmm.